I'm about to go into the library, so I have to hang up now. All right, honey, you go study hard. We're so proud of you. Always remember, our family aren't quitters. No. <laughs> the bells keep ringing. Ding -a -ling -a -ling. Ding -a -ling. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Whiskey on the rocks. Now. Good evening to y'all. If you are wondering, that sad person who just sat down, this one here, yep, that's me, Eliza Bell. Now, you probably don't care about my life, but I'll tell you about it anyway. So to begin, I've made the dumbass decision to move to London. I'm from here. USA! USA! My parents are maniacs. Go study, little angel, go study. Ah brother is a world-renowned surgeon, but we'll get to that later. Oh look, there I am, starry-eyed, gullible American. I mean, look at that sap. What a bitch. I moved here about two years ago to do a chemistry degree. Not that I was any good at it. Parents want me to be a chemist so I can work for their pharmaceutical firm. I hate it. Max! Are you out of your mind? But, Dad! No way! We can't have you becoming one of those lonely, useless... Do I dare say it? Academics! Stop swearing at our child! But back to the point. Today, I'm going to tell you about the day I got desperate. Ha! I mean, real desperate. Desperate for what, you ask? You'll understand all soon. Welcome to my embarrassing memoirs. This is Susie, the proud owner of LV Lounge. She's depressing, but I like her. <sighs> nice and smooth. <clears throat> so, how's my favorite quitter today then? Hey, just because I dropped out does not make me a quitter. I can't stand listening to this shit anymore. All right, Anna, go and bother someone else with your negativity, please. Somebody's grumpy today. <laughs> Oh, sorry, was this yours, dear? This must be mine. <laughs> so, let me make sure I get this right. You want me to find you a date so you can get married, and then... Stay in London till my parents don't find out that I dropped out. See, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, I think that sounds about right. But he will die eventually. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, you're very welcome, dear. This is Rosie. I don't know much about her, but she's a lunatic, that's for sure. Hang on, what the hell are you doing here? The winds of change have led me to this place. Saturn was struck by a comet, you see. A cider, please. So, do you think you could get me those dates? Date, let's go! Absolutely free! Tough crowd, eh? We have a pillow fight. Get out. Going. <laughs> Can I call you mummy? What? No. Get lost, Toby. <clears throat> Regardless, I found you three dates. Do not let me down. One will take you to the past, and one. Shut, Shut up, up Rosie. Rosie. If I can do this. Bloody well better do. I went through a lot of shit getting these dates sorted for you. Play this girl! <laughs> Look, I want to set some ground rules for you. Number one, pretend you're a girl. <laughs> Number two, don't mention Brexit. I'll do it. Are you British? I do. Next! We can't afford to be politically fussy at this point. And number three, under no circumstances, you need to make any of those mathematical joke things. Maths is no joking matter. What did I say to Pi? I don't know. Be rational. And then Pi says, get real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was funny. So, tell me all 
all about you, Ted. Well, I'm 25. I know. I don't look it. Botox works a dream. And I'm a rock star. Really? Me too. Really? Yeah. We play imaginary numbers. And I'm gay. Wait, what? I'm just here for the free drinks. Oh my god. That's disgraceful. That's distasteful. That's di disgusting. Using me for free drinks? You're... Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? I'm gay. Nobody's perfect. Why are you so desperate to get married? And by the way, you're being very homophobic. Well, it's a long story. You see, wait, wait, what? Homophobic? Enlighten me. Yes, homophobic. It all happened a week ago. The fateful day that I decided to drop out of university. I quit! Comrades, I know you've all heard about my strange dreams lately, but I'll get to that later. First, I have a few things that I would like to say. And yeah, I know this is a total ripoff from Animal Farm by George Orwell. Published 1945 by Secker and Wahlberg, London, England, United Kingdom. <laughs> Comrades, after many hours, I have decided to leave you. But before doing so, I would like to exact some wisdom that I have acquired. Get out while you can, comrades. Quit while you can! Don't end up like that poor old horse boxer! And with that... Goodbye! That sounds awful. Well, to cheer you up, here's a free flyer so you can come to my gig next week. Thanks. I'll take these. Ciao, ciao. You are useless. You're funny. Yankee. Depressed British woman with a big head. Hey, do you want to hear a joke? No. What did the square say to the circle? <sighs> You're pointless. I'm a circle. Hey. No, 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 no. Come on, don't start crying. Come on, you're, you're not that fat. No, come on, put it together now. Put your socks up. Get ready. Got the third one coming any minute. All right? Good girl. And you see, that's why I can't tell my parents that I dropped out, because then they'll send me back there. Where? America! <laughs> have you thought about... Have you thought about... getting a job to pass your visa? <laughs> Wait, can dog walking get you a visa? Please shut up and don't interrupt my flashback sequence, okay? <laughs> okay. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No. I hang up. All right, no look there. What about bartending? <laughs> no, we've already tried that one. This one is not getting back behind my bar. I'm bad at everything but math. Then, do maths. I can't! I'll be an old academic whittling away at impossible to solve math problems in an ivory tower and my hair will fall out and then nobody's gonna want to marry me. <laughs> and then how will I get my visa to stay? Not that you and Karen know, not you and your... You know what? I bet you're a doctor. You look just like a doctor. In fact, you look just like my brother. I'm... a doctor. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of creepy. You know what? Brexit. Let's talk about Brexit. I don't know why I didn't shut up at this point, honestly, but bear with me. How do you feel about Brexit? 
<laughs> Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. I bet you voted leave. It won't affect you much since you're American. It's more the Europeans who will be affected. Fair point. Also, can I call you mummy? No! I said no! <laughs> so, will you marry me? You're crazy. Can I call you mommy? No! Well, he's gone. Man, I wonder where I lost him. Well, I mean, always oh, 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 I will tell you what happened. I am a dropout from South Carolina, and I need to stay in England, and will you stop playing that music, please? What? Thank you. Okay, look, my parents are maniacs, okay? And I mean maniacs, crazy, psychopaths. Okay, we get it, move on. Sorry, where was I? Psychopaths. I'm broke. I need money, I can't get a job, and I am really, really desperate. So, without further ado, I have a question to ask all of you. Will someone please marry me? I'm open to anyone. Anyone! I'll marry you. Really? I'll marry you. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, my legs are short. Don't worry, you have won the genetic lottery. Some people call me a genius. That's not important. <laughs> I don't even know your name. My name is Irrelevant. All that matters is that my love for you burns brighter than a fire on a winter's eve. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to get married immediately. And you could be a housewife. And we could have lots of kids. And I can continue my drug trafficking. Oh, it'll be great. Let's Help. go, my love. Okay. Well, she's fucked. <laughs>